Hey guys, thank you for tuning back into the everyday life of a working wife. Please enjoy just these little quick updates of things that I've been doing around the house. Okay guys, just a random update video. Um, remember when I told you guys about getting decor pieces and items on the low end? So this is one that I just happened to pick up and see from Dollar General. It's $4. So $4 is the everyday price. Now let's compare it to the one, let me turn on the light right quick. The one that I got from Hobby Lobby, which mind you, this one was from 50% um, off table decor. So it, it ended up being about four bucks as well. So bigger in size, a little bit more sturdy, but again, to still get a look on a low end price, $4 regular, because this may not always be on sale. And you probably can't, and actually it was more than 50%. Um, because I think the actual price of these was like, what, $12.99, like $13.99, something like that. Which still isn't a bad price. Um, but let's just say your budget for updating a room is $25. Well, if this is already half your budget, because it's the item that's not on sale, this can give you that same look. Now, I've actually been thinking if I'm going to put it there, but I actually saw a picture um, online to actually put this um, over here. So I think I'm going to do that and I'll link the picture below. And something else that I did instead of ordering some eucalyptus leaves off of Amazon. I got this one for Target now. It's just one branch. I folded. Let me see if I can pull it out. I bent it and I folded it down. And this was on sale too. It was $5.99, but it actually rung up for $3.99. Not sure if Amazon's a little cheaper, but instead of me waiting for next day, I got it here. Now, I don't like the way this top sticks out. So I'm sure I'm about to cut that and kind of trim it and stuff it and play around with it. But I put it there first just to see if I liked that pop. So um, like I told you guys, you can always just do small little decor piece updates here and there. You can always shop your home first. But again, you can also shop um, low end to get that high end look. It may not be exact, but you can still do it. And even with this vase, and I think I showed y'all because this is part of my big lot, uh, big lot, big lot haul. $15, but I got the inflation sale, 20% off, military discount, an extra 10. So this was 30% off. Um, even this right here came from Hobby Lobby and it was 50% off. So I paid seven bucks for all that. Um, just little candles here and there, Target section, the dollar section, $3. Um, this was even from Dollar General, it doesn't have one on there, but um, this was from Hobby Lobby as well. But again, just pick a little area here and there, pick up the core pieces here and there. Guys, you don't never have to rush to design, decorate, and update your home because it's going to be continuous. I'm telling you. Um, I may even change this out a year from now because it was something else different that was here. We had a different table. Like I said, stuff changes all the time. But I'm going to make sure to link my inspiration for this tier tray and once i get it together i will update that as well all right holla y'all so all right guys i got this particular um woven basket from walmart's better homes it was um, about 28 bucks i figured this will be a great contrast to the dark wood table but it also brings out the tans and the couch um i got this from walmart as well this was probably about what 15 16 something like that i have these downstairs so i figured that was a great element of pulling downstairs this candle also came from walmart let's see and it smells so good and the colors ironically match the shades of blues up here in turquoises i got this from target because i thought i was going to switch out the other leaf downstairs on the dining table but i ended up cutting it so I just brought this up here to see if maybe it was somewhere to put it. 
Y'all saw these beads from the last video. Let me see if I can incorporate that. And then I think I'm going to take this stuff from down here and possibly use it up there. So since I don't have a stand to record me placing all this stuff together, I'm going to go ahead, put this together, and then I'm come back and record once it's together. Okay, so at this time, I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep this in here, but you guys know this from my Dissy Sons Nursery. That's why we kind of call this the Captain's Corner. I think that balances it. But then when I did put this in here, and let me, I had this there, I had it there, I had it there, that seemed balanced. Let me see if I kind of anchor it, but then I was like two tall things um, because these both give a great contrast. So then I was like, well, maybe if I take the candle out and put that in, but then it seemed a little too crowded. So I'm kind of not sure which one I'm going to go through. The beads just kind of... Um, didn't sit in there with me. I think I may put them over there, coming out of there. That might be a good place. Or I don't know where I'm gonna put them. But y'all let me know, what should I do? And, hmm, but yeah. So I'm thinking that I may go Let's see. Maybe anchoring it there, anchoring it there, putting the candle there for fragrance. Let's see. I think that may be it for now. I just really wish I kind of um, I could figure out a better thing for the beads, or that might be it. Unless I'm burning a candle. Uh oh. I don't know. So just a mini quick short snippet <laughs> that I'm going to add to just little little things that I shop for. No, I don't like that, y'all. Y'all give me some of y'all advice. What should I do with these beads? I'm going to find these beads somewhere to go because I have already purchased them and taken the tag off. And this and that I had down here. I like the over picture frame. So that's what I'm thinking to put this back down there. I know I have to knock the picture frames and set them back up. So, um, yeah, that's what's going on today, y'all. What's going on in y'all home world of decors? All right, holla back. All right, y'all. I know I said holla back, but I was like, I'm gonna stick these somewhere. So, <laughs> for now, I just stuck them over there. Um, and I kind of, like I said, just settled on this for now. I start um, sorting the picture frames out, but I noticed that frame is broke. I don't know if I said that in another short snippet video, but um, that's going to work for there for now. And I like the black because it brings the darker metal part of that out the way. Um, it just kind of ties everything together. So still debating on if I'm gonna put curtains back here or just like paint this whole wall up into the office nook area and make it kind of like a focus point. I'm not sure. Not focus point, like a focal wall. Focus wall. I'm tongue tied y'all. I'm tired today. So yeah, so just a little quick little thing of what I decided to do today was finally find something for this table up here. All right, that's it. Please make sure to like, click, share, and y'all subscribe if you love the content. Thank you so much for tuning in and until next time. All right, so this is just the final look right here. Um, I love the way it came out and I wouldn't change it. Okay guys, I think I showed you the garage space before uh, COVID hit. We ended up just turning it into like a gym. Um, since then, got rid of some of the equipment, still gotta build this new bench. But I got the idea 
um, remember when I bought a basket from Target and I was like, I didn't know what to do with it. So I ended up putting the basket from Target um, in our room. I changed out the basket in our room because this one wasn't there. And since I had one in the foyer, when you come in um, to put your shoes, I was just like, well, since we had this um mud room area and then i just wanted to anchor the extra uh refrigerator and we was like how cool to put a mud room area in here because we thought about it after the fact with building um and i'm pretty sure i showed this before so i was just like well as far as dirty shoes because we'll either go put our shoes like in the basket things or put them near but they're not dirty but what about if you come in and your shoes are wet it's muddy so that's why i just made this and y'all know i just make my little makeshift signs i will probably print something make it a little bit more fancy but this is suffice for now but just place your dirty shoes there um dirty wet whatever and it's really similar to the oh and i forgot to tell y'all we upgraded to the newer samsung model um wash and dryers we had the first set that came out like what 2016 17 ish and then the top washer broke they couldn't um fix it so they just gave us the money to replace it and it was just one of those things where i didn't want um a, like a new washer without the newer dryer so i ended up um selling the set and i gotta take some stuff out right quick um end up selling the set and just use the money that they gave us to replace it plus the money to sell the set added to it and we just got the brand new set um and i can say samsung did upgrade um the smart technology and stuff with this but we'll make a video about that later um and i'm pretty sure i showed y'all my um laundry room and that makeover is coming like way later when i finish doing it but anywho this is the place where we put our shoes here when we come in just because even if your shoes aren't dirty you probably just don't really want to track a lot through the house um and yeah and in the bedroom i just ended up using the target basket that's a gift and I put that out so my husband can remember to drop that off. Um, and I ended up putting the Target basket. <laughs> and I still got the tag on it. So let me take that off. Um, let me get some of the... I got to cut that off. But yeah. So ended up putting it there. I think it actually looks a little bit more um, chic than the other one for the bedroom. Um, and just I'm pretty sure I shared y'all shared the bedroom before the lights on now. But yeah. So just another little small update. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to my random updates around the house. Sorry, I have not uploaded a video in a while, but please make sure if you like this video to make sure to like it, click it, share it, and please subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Thank you so much for tuning in and bye y'all until next video.